When I was seven years old, my father passed away. I moved with my aunt and I stayed with her to about 13 years old. She sent me to every family member house that I could possibly think of. She actually didn't want me. At 11 years old, I went to live with my cousin and she sent me back to my aunt. I went to Milwaukee to live with my cousin. He couldn't handle it, sent me back to Chicago. I moved down the street <laughs> with one of her friends couldn't stay there, you know, so she sent me back to my aunt. And during that time, I was also smoking and drinking. I started smoking and drinking very young. I think I was 11 years old. So that was also a part of that problem. One day I went home and she didn't let me in the house. And I went to school and they called Volunteers of America. From that day on, I've been in the system with Volunteers of America. I often tell adults when we're talking about foster care, imagine that in a matter of hours, everything in your life changed. You lost your job, you moved to a new home, every relative that you've known had disappeared and gone away. And in a day, somebody had to create an entirely new existence for you, of which nothing was familiar. To live in a foster home is like, it's kind of scary. You're not growing up with your brothers and your sisters, you're growing up with people that you don't know. I didn't meet my mom, my brothers, or my sister until I got into the system. Volunteers of America stays with kids for a lifetime and just really being a part of their lives. And I've seen kids transition to adulthood, like Mary. We're still, you know, not that we have a whole lot of maintenance to do with her right now, um, but they, they come back and they want to see what's going on and how we can help. and. They volunteer. I moved out, went into my own apartment, and when I was 17, I bought a car. They've helped me with school. Now I'm in college. They've helped me with finding a job. They have helped me with anything that I need as far as medical assistance. They've just been wonderful for me. They're like family to me. I love them. I love them because they've always been there for me. A lot of people talk about the goal of foster care is reunification. I actually believe that the goal of foster care is to give children a family, whatever that looks like. Sometimes it's reunification, sometimes it's being connected with other biological relatives who can give them that sense of family, and sometimes it's also with an adopted family. But in every instance, um, our goal is to look at the child and to determine what is going to make that child's life better? What is in that child's best interest? 20 years from now, what's going to be the choice that we make today that will help that, that child be a healthy, happy, high-functioning adult?